थैंक यू वेरी मच प्रसाद राव जी अनंत करणा पयम तथागतम अनुत्तरम बंदामे सिरसा बुद्धम धम्मम संघम ची यह प्रतिस्मृत पादम प्रपंचो समम सुम देशया मास संबुद्ध सम बंदे बदतांबरम सर्व दृष्टि प्रहरणा सधर्मम अदेशयत अनुकंपाम उपादाय तम नमस्यामि गौतमम मस्त रिस्पेक्ट है प्रोफेसर संतोष कुमार शुक्ला जी चेयरमैन ऑफ दिस स्मॉल पाली व्याख्यान माला प्रोफेसर सी उपेंद्र राव हु इज द कन्वीनर ऑफ दिस व्याख्यान माला एंड माय मोस्ट रिस्पेक्टेड प्रोफेसर उमाशंकर व्यास जी आई फील वेरी मच ग्लैड to see a galaxy of sanskrit scholars in this vyakhyana uh, mala i am also afraid to speak something on this very topic before a galaxy of uh, intellectuals in the field of uh, sanskrit studies although i have been given a topic on pali atkatha literature i will confine myself with the pali atkatha literature and in this uh, i am not going to discuss all the atkatha literature in a very detailed manner because uh, scholars are very much aware of that uh, what are the atkathas which are written on the canonical literature but today i am going to speak that what are the literal meanings of atkatha how does it differ from the sanskrit tika or anutika what are the meanings which have been given in the text canonical text as well as in the commentary literature regarding our atkatha how the methods of interpretations or interpretation or commentary they have been elaborated in our text as well as in commentaries what are the sources of our commentaries writing pali atkatha what are the importance of our what are the methods of interpretations in our pali atkathas i will also speak that what are the significance or importance of pali atkathas in a very brief manner and lastly i will also give a very much you can say brief manner that what are the demerits of our pali atkatha literature also so as we know that in sanskrit this term arth katha has been coined as a arth katha although this arth katha has not become very much popular in our sanskrit coinage or usage but it became more much popular in our pali literature also and if you see that in arth katha there are two you can say words arth and katha and there is a verb which is kath and if you see there are very senior uh, sanskrit scholars also kath vak prabandh that etymologically it is derived from the kath which denotes anything is spoken and could comprehend all forms of communications what were we are in the form of debate communications or dialogue whatever we are is speaking or disc discussions or the disputes so kath vak prabandh that it is in the form of discussion debate or the things again in the semantic development of our this arth katha or discourses the like we are having ram katha or jatak katha or so whatever it is not in that sense here in a pali at katha but in pali at katha it is in the sense of expositions of the meanings how the terms have been defined in a very clear term and in a very understanding with the temperament of the person concerned this has been given the coinage of the arth katha in our sanskrit or in ram katha and whatever it is only for the discourse but in pali katha pali katha uh, at katha it is in the sense of giving exposition of the technical terms which have come in the our uh, canonical uh, suttaj also that uh, we are having uh, bitanda or uh, you can say vivad or dialogue 
in the suttas like uh, samaya phala sutta we are having that the, how there are uh, six tarthika tarthik uh, acharyas they are making a debate with the king as well as the buddha also how the ministers is making a dialogue with the buddha and how the buddha is also making the in the same way we are having that method of debate in the milind pai also and how the logic and epistemology have been developed in our milind pai so these are the things which have been developed there but here at katha is only in the never you can say not in that sanskrit term but here it is in the sense of giving the meaning of the technical terms also it is also interesting to know that in the later our pali acharyas they adopted also tikaj or dipani also like we are having uh, abhidham mulatika or dignikai mulatika or anutika also in our uh, later uh, acharyas they also adopted as anudipani or parmat dipani which are quite similar to the text which are available in our sanskrit but they are not available in our you can say and pali acharyas they also left the idea of pali atkatha whatever they are having so i am giving that how the atkatha which was already developed by the buddha himself when he was preaching the teachings in the uh, suttas from village to village or janpadas to janpad also so i will give you in a very brief manner that how he is explaining the terms whenever the the terms technical terms are not clear to the persons also so here is the uh, in a first noble truth if you see that how the term uh, uh, dukham arya satyam that is jati pe dukha jara pe dukha marnam pe dukham api yahi sampayogo dukho that here there is no technical term the jati or the panch khand has been discussed but in the later suttas in the sanjukta nikaya or mahasati pathan sutta buddha also discusses that what is the you can say jati so jati has been discussed here in the mahasati pathana sutta buddha said that jati sanjati okalti avin nibatti khandanam patu bhavo that it is in the sense of emergence of the panch khandas so here there are the 12 ayanta uh, ayatanas where there are the uh, coming of the 12 ayatanas or 18 dhatus or panch khandas it in that sense it is called as jatu jati so here jati has been given in different technical terms so here atkatha has been given in so many terms in the text also again if you see that in the dhamma sangani there is a question that tat katamam chittam hoti and it explain of that chitt it has been said that yam chittam manas manasam pandaram biyanam other things they have been given the synonyms. The Haday, Pandara, Manas, Biyan, there are so many terms which have been given here. But later, Buddha also says that what is the Haday, what is the Biyan, what is the uh, Chit, he discusses in a very detailed manner in other texts also. I will come later on. So here I will discuss that how the text which have been interpreted in our text also. The actual term, the Atkatha, which has been defined by our market Kone in Pali English Dictionary. So she has given three terms related with the Atkatha. They are the method of interpretation, interpretation and commentaries. These are the three terms which have been given in the uh, Pali English Dictionary by market uh, owner. There are other terms which have also come in the text also that when Buddha says that Ath Banana or Pad Banana, we are having so many terms related with the uh, Atkatha that we are having that sometimes Buddha says that I will speak in a very detailed manner that Bithar, there is another term which is coming 
as a in the sense of atkatha where buddha said that maya sankhitena bhasitassa vithare artham jan ajin janasati that buddha said that i will speak in a very detailed manner there is another term related with the atkatha that is called as uh, arth sambarana here arth sambarana is the description or exposition in a very clear manner of the technical terms of the meaning which have come in the text so this are also called in the text of nitty pakarana but uh, mahakachan has also given a, a technical term related with the arth katha that is called as a uh, pariyatthi pariyatthi is here in the sense of pariyasati that it is in the sense of systematic study and investigation of that technical terms which have come in that te technical terms there are other six also terms which have been given in the nitya prakarana by mahakachan they are the sankasana that is the explaining displaying that is the pakasana the divulging they are in the sense of vivarana that is the description analyzing that is the vibhajan and exhibiting that is the utani kammam and describing by concepts payati so this is the they are are the six terms of which have been given in the our uh, text uh, nitty prakarana by mahakachana nitty prakarana also provides an elaborate sense of the that how are the methods that is the nay for explaining of the technical terms which have come in the technical uh, canonical text also but here in the text sarath dipini acharya buddha ghosh has also defined the term atkatha so acharya buddha ghosh says that acharya vadoti atkatha that buddha ghosh says that atkatha is in the sense of a thought given by the acharyas so there is a succession of acharyas again for uh, understanding of, of this term acharya vad uh, we have to take consideration of the deep ones what uh, professor uh, uma shankar vyas was telling about uh, the significance of the deep ones so in the deep ones it has been said that eko wo vado uh, thir vado so it has been said that it has been started uh, Uh, from the very uh, beginning of the century of our uh, first buddhist council so it has been said in the text that eko va theravado adi vas sati ahu that from the very beginning of the century of the, the and again it is, is said in the sarath dipni by acharya buddha ghosh that uh, acharya parampara ti theravad angam so here there is a tradition of the succession of acharyas from the time of the buddha till the ashoka and uh, till our uh, acharya buddha ghosh buddha dat and dhammapal so there is a succession of acharyas so here buddha uh, buddha ghosh says that acharya parampara is the theravada ang that is the factor or one of the constituent uh, body of our theravada that is the, you can say and then acharya vad the thoughts which have been given by our acharyas it is called as arth katha and if you go through this arth katha uh, oliver evenayak he has explained in a very detailed manner that what are the terms which are related with the acharya vad and acharya parampara as well as arth katha he has given three you can say uh, terms which have been come in that uh, explaining the arth katha that first is that the tradition which starts from the uh, teachings of the buddha available in the binay pitaka sutta pitaka and abhidhamma pitaka and it is said that uh, uh, the parampara or tradition of the uh, preaching or method of interpretation which is available in the arya pariya sen sutta and that it is in the sense of certainty and the second that is called as a commentarial use or of the individual theravada acharyas 
so here that is you can say we are going to discuss that is the commentarial views of the technical terms by our acharyas of the theravad that is very much important which we are going to discuss for today our topic so here here they are in explaining these terms the commentarial views uh, acharya buddha ghosh has given four updesas also in the sarath deepani and he is given that sut sut anulom acharya vad and art attanu mati these are the four terms which have been given in sarath deepani so sut he acharya buddha ghosh that sut is the teachings of the buddha and in explaining of the sut he says that athanam suchanato suvartato savarnato suvartato suttana sut sabhagato suttam suttam pi alkatam so here he explained that what is the sut that is the teachings of the buddha second is the sut anulom that with the temperament or accordingly the teachings of the buddha what are the available the, the third is the acharya vad that is related with our you can say art katha that is the commentarial literature of our pali so this is the uh, acharya vad that is the succession of the teachers from the very beginning from the time of the buddha to the time of our uh, uh, buddha ghosh or uh, buddha dat and dhammapal so this is called as art katha and there are so many things which have and uh, lastly attanu mati that is the views of the individual teachers or acharyas which are quite relevant to the teachings of the buddha which are available in the vinay pitak sutta pitak and abhidhamma pitak so these are the things which have been given in the our uh, you can say text so in the brief manner i would like to say that at katha it is another name of the interpretations because market kone has given the three terms that is the interpretation method of interpretations and the commentary these are the three terms for the at katha and i think that the methods of the interpretations and the commentary these two terms are quite significant with uh, for explaining the term at katha and this at katha is in a very is a systematic mode for explaining or in a, a giving expositions of the teachings of the buddha so in the at the time of the buddha also we are having that uh, there are so many uh, people who are approaching to the buddha for explaining of the te uh, technical terms also and we are having that how sariput anand mahakotidl they are explaining the technical terms which were spoken by the uh, buddha when he was preaching the sutta also and we are having the references of some uh, nuns also named as dhammadinna khema and patachara they were also explaining the teachings of the buddha which were not explained by the buddha to the people and buddha is also praising all these teachers sariputta anand mahakotil and dhammadinna khema and patachara and says that uh, their intelligentsia is are much above the common people also and we are having that how he madhu pindak sutt which was uh, uttered by mahakachan and he was also understood as a good explanation good uh, explain uh, giving the good explanation of the teachings of the buddha and uh, we, uh, lastly we are having nitya pakarana uh, Uh, that how it was composed by venerable uh, mahakachya and also so these are the some of the terms which were uh, available at the time of the buddha also that these were the i am explaining that how the origin of the commentary or interpretations of the teachings of the buddha which was began at the time of the buddha itself and how it was continued by the succession of their teachers from the 6th century bc to 5th century ad till maha uh, buddh gosa acharya so now i will uh, give you in a very brief manner about what are the methods of the 
interpretations in the commentaries, how the terms have been explained in a better way for understanding of any technical terms. So we are having that there are four indigenous qualities which have been given by Acharya Buddha Ghosh in explaining each term of technical term. So they are the Lakhan, Ras, Pachupathan and Padarthan. These are the four things which are taken for explaining any technical terms by the Acharyas in, in the commentary. So characteristics is the Lakhan, function is the Ras or manifestation is the Pachupathan and immediate cause are the padathan. I will give you in a very brief manner that how lakhan, rasa, pachpathan and padathan, these four ingenious qualities in explaining the technical terms have been given in any text. Take a case of our Visuddhi Mag. In the Visuddhi Mag, the text defined, just giving that how lakhan, rasa, pachpathan and padathan, these four ingenious qualities for explaining the terms have been given. So first is the, I am giving you the, the, the term seal, that how seal has been defined. So seal is the, uh, as we know that the seal, lakhanam ti seelam, that seal has the characteristics of compounding. So what is the characteristics of the seal? Seal has the characteristics of composing, that is the sealan. Sealan lakhanam ti sealam. Again, Acharya Buddha says, Buddha Ghosh says that what is silanam? Then it has been said as samadhan upadharanam va. What is the samadhan? It has been said that kai kam adinam susilya vasena avikapinitati yatho. That it is in the sense of inconsistency of the physical and vocal actions by the way of the good conduct. Again, there is a that uh, samadhan upadharanam wa kim upadharanam that it has been said that kusalanam dhammanam patithan vasena adhara vahavoti yatho that it is in the sense of uh, giving the or establishing the base of the arising of the moral dhammaj. So this is the lakhana. What is the ras of the sil? Buddha Ghosh says that it has the that it has the uh, function of destroying the bad conduct related with the physical and the vocal anxiety. And then again, third, uh, the third is the Pachupathan, that what is the Pachupathan or manifestation of the seal or morality, it has been said that Kai Suchaya, Bachi Suchaya and Manu Suchaya that purification related with the physical, vocal and mental actions is called as pachupathan or manifestations. And lastly, what is the pathathan or immediate cause? It is said that the immediate cause of the seal is the hiri and otappa. That it is the asana karana, that it is the near cause of the, you can say, hiri and otappa. What is hiri? That atgar vena papam jahati ti hiri. That feeling self same is called as hiri. And pargar vena papam jahati ti utappam. That feeling social same at the time of doing something immoral. That is called as utappa. So the immediate or you can say immediate cause of the seal is called as padarthan. So with the help of Lakhana, Rasa, Pachupathan and Padarthan, all the technical terms have been defined in the commentaries. In the uh, Sumangal Bilasani or in the uh, Samantha Pasadika or in the commentaries of the uh, Avidhamma Pitaka like Samuha uh, Binodini, uh, Atasalani uh, and Panchapakarana Katha, all these lakhan, rasa, pachpathan and padathan, they have been given. And the language of the, you can say, defining of the technical terms with the help of lakhan, rasa, pachpathan and padathan, they is, this is called as a magadi. And uh, uh, we are having that all the texts which were uh, 
commented they were commented by acharya buddh ghosh or buddh dat or dhammapal in the language of the magadhi and buddh ghosh also says that sa magadhi mool bhasha narayadi kappika brahmano chasu talapa sambuddha cha api bhasare that is this magadhi is the original language and buddh ghosh buddh dat and dhammapal they have tried to explain the technical terms with the help of the our magadhi or magadhi bhasha or Ma magadhi nirutti so these uh, uh, in the chulbag there is a description of uh, related with the chandas that some of the bhikkhus who approached to, to the buddha for translating the teachings of the buddha in chandas then buddha says that yo chandaso aropeya apati dukkatas and buddha says that all the teachings of the buddha may be translated into you can say sakai nirutya paryapuni budvachanam paryapunitum so this is the method of interpretations in the uh, you can say uh, by acharya buddha ghosh again for the method of interpretations in the nitya prakarana acharya mahakachan has given 16 types of haraj also explaining in a very brief manner i will say that uh, what are the explain uh, these 16 types of uh, haraj they are the uh, desana har vichay har yutti har padarthan har lakhan har chatu vid har avart har parivartan parivartan har devachan har payati har utaran har sodan har adipthan har parikhar har samaropan har these are the methods through which the technical terms have been defined by venerable kachan in the nitya prakarana so these are the in the text also in the binay pitak sutta pitak and abhidham pitak we are having there are uh, three terms related with the uddesha nidesh and pati nidesha uddesh is the just enumeration of the technical terms nidesh is the explanation of the technical terms spoken by the buddh in the pathan or you can say other terms we are having so many terms that how nidesh nay or uddesh nay they have been given there is a another term pati nidesh this is the read discrete description of the technical terms or explanation of the technical terms which have come in the text so these are the methods which are available in the text and there is another term which are also coming in the nitya prakaran that is called as paryatti we have discussed that paryatti is the systematic search or investigation of the technical terms and buddha also says that you do not uh, accept the things whatever it is coming to the traditions from the traditions or from the any persons but you just investigate it with the that whether they have been set in the canonical text or not then you accept it and that is the paryatti or investigation is the main that how you have to investigate a systematic study of the technical terms then you have to decide your things again in the text also we are having in some of the text of uh, abhidhamma pitak that how the terms have been explained by the buddh himself in the bibhang which is supposed as a second text of uh, abhidhamma pitak as well as a supplementary text of the dhamma sangani which is called as a mool prakaran of abhidhamma pitak in bibhang we are having there are three you can say uh, ex, uh, method of interpretations of the technical terms first is called as sutant bhajaniya second is the abhidhamma bhajaniya and third is called as paiya puchak so these are the methods for explaining of the terms in sutant bhajaniya suppose in the first uh, khand uh, when he is explaining khand bibhang first is called as roop khand and he when he explains under the sutant bhajaniya then there is a question tat katmam roopam roop khando then it is said that yam kinchi roopam atit anagat pachpannam va ajhatam va bahidda va 
वो लारिकम हुआ सुखम हुआ हीनम हुआ पणितम हुआ तद एक झम अभिसंहित इदम उच्चति रूपम सो देर आर फाइव यू कैन से मिथ यू कैन से क्लासिफिकेशन अंडर द हेडिंग ऑफ द रिलेटिव नेचर टेम्पोरल नेचर दैट इज द अतीत अनागत पचपन्नम हुआ रिलेटिव नेचर दैट इज द अजहत्तम हुआ बहिता हुआ क्वालिटेटिव नेचर दैट इज द दूरे व संतिके व ओलारिकम हुआ सुखम हुआ हिणम पणितम हुआ दैट इज द नेचर ऑफ द डिस्टेंस दीज आर द फाइव मेथड्स और क्लासिफिकेशन अंडर विच रूप खंडा हैज बीन डिफाइंड अगेन देर इज ए क्वेश्चन तत्कतम अतीत रूपम तत्कतम वर्तमान रूपम तत्कतम अनागत रूपम इट हैज बीन एक्सप्लेन अगेन अंडर द विधम भाजनीय वी आर हैविंग दैट तत्कतम कतम रूप खंडो इट हैज बीन सेट चारो च महाभूता च तुंडम च महाभूतानम उपादाय इदम बुच्चति रूपम एंड लास्टली अंडर द पहिया पुछक 22 तिकमातिकाज एंड 100 दुखमातिकाज द क्वेश्चंस हैव बीन आस्क्ड एंड दे हैव बीन एक्सप्लेन अगेन इन द पुगल पयति वी आर हैविंग दैट हाउ द पयति द टर्म्स हैव बीन एक्सप्लेनड एंड वी आर हैविंग दैट हाउ पया पना तस्तना पकासना पयति नाम सो पयति व्हेन इट इज सो देयर आर अदर टर्म्स आल्सो व्हिच हैव बीन एक्सप्लेन्स एंड व्हाट आर द सोर्सेज ऑफ आवर कमेंट्रीज i will give you in a very brief manner that in the text we are having that uh, it is said that there are so many terms which have been explained in our terms like uh, maha atkatha maha uh, pachari katha uttar bihar katha atkatha andhak atkatha or kurundi atkatha and the sankep atkatha these were the major source for the explaining of the terms and we know that when acharya buddha ghosh